Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. I got some truth for you today. I pray that your spirits are ready to receive it. I pray that you plow your field so that the seed will fall on fertile ground today and bless you and further the kingdom of God, that it bears much fruit for the kingdom and for your life today in the glorious name of Jesus. I pray this, Lord, you inhabit the praises of your people, Lord. We praise and glorify your name today, my King. Let your word fall on fertile ground today, my King. As we pick up our shield and our weapon, the sword of the spirit, to fight the fight, the good fight of faith today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Guys, just in case I haven't reminded you, we at war. I want to place the, 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 the focus on the power of God today. We're always surrounded, right? We're always looking at what we're surrounded by. We're always looking at what our circumstances are. Let's stop that today. Let's put the power where it belongs. Let's shift it and let's keep our eyes upon where the power comes from, where the truth is, right? It's in God. It's in the word of God. It's in the faithfulness of God. It's in his power that everything is done in our life, not by our might, but by his might. Hallelujah. So let's take up our shield of faith today and let's fight the good fight of faith today. Let's take it up a notch, y'all. Let's shatter the enemies of the cross today, let's shatter them. Let's target, smash, break strongholds of darkness in our lives. Glory to God. Let us demolish, okay, the thrones of wickedness that have gone unopposed for generations. Let us do that. You have the power to break generational curses. You got the power to break the, the strongholds of the enemy in your life by believing and speaking the word of God in your life. I want us to stop being a victim today. I want us to stop, get out of that victim mentality, y'all, and start rising up and taking your place. See, it doesn't matter what you've done or what you haven't done. You are the righteousness of God. Because of the blood of Jesus, because of the sacrifice of Jesus and over 2,000 years ago, you have given authority. You've been given authority and power over all the power that he possesses. That's what Luke 10, 19 tells us. I pray that you start to understand who you are in Christ, that you pick up your shield of faith, that you put your crown on right, honey, the helmet of salvation. Put on the whole armor of God. Keep it on. I never take it off. It is up to you. The doorknob, the door. Of, of the power of God has one doorknob and the doorknob is on your side. You get to open it. I pray that you understand that the power lies in you and your choices and your belief. If you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth, that's what it says. So that's your job. You let God do his job. See, we keep trying to do God's job. Just stay under his protection. Believe what he says. Speak what he says. And that is the beginning of a beautiful relationship, of victory in your life. That's how it starts, y'all. So if you are tired, sick and tired of being sick and tired of making the same mistakes as wandering in the wilderness, submit to him. Admit that you can't do it without him. Connect to the vine, honey, and allow God to, to release that supernatural power within you because it's his power. It's greater than he. It's not you who lives, but Christ who lives in you, right? Greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. So stop giving the power to the things of the world and put the power where it belongs in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, there is nothing more powerful than the name of Jesus. I pray that you release it from your mouth. It's a resurrection power that lives within you today. I pray that you have a revelation that that is who you are. Not what you feel, not what people have told you, not what the world tells you, but who God Almighty tells you you are. You're his child. You're his beloved. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. I pray that you believe that today. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Honey, I am on a victorious road. And ah, power place where you at. Hallelujah.